Welcome to this episode of the Gunman. This video, I'll be taking you through the paintwork on this B200 Mercedes Benz, painted in Standox solvent base base coat, paint code 650. And I think I'm uh, pronouncing this correctly. I think it's calcite white. Um, it's written in German on my paint label, and I can barely read it. But I think calcite white is the name of the colour. So. What I've done here is wiped it down with a wax and grease removing solvent, a wet rag, and then going back over it with a dry rag, and flip that rag back over, so you've got another clean part of the, the rag, and wipe over it once more. Uh, I've set my spray booth to 25 degrees, so you want to just do sort of one or two panels at a time when you're using the wax and grease remover, so it doesn't dry when, when you're wiping it on, you want it to dry when you're wiping it off. So then grabbing the air from the spray gun at the same time as using the tack cloth the yellow tack cloth I've got there I found they're the best ones because they're nice and sticky more sticky than the blue ones which are more actually designed for face coat so, um, I generally don't face uh, tack rag after I put my base coat on so this is our first coat of base coat here um, it is a solid colour this one but I've decided to do it in base coat few reasons being that um, you get a better finish, um, the rest of the car is also painted in base coat so there's no use in putting direct gloss over it, that's going to fade at different levels and I think it's a better quality finish with clear over base because the clear coat takes a little bit better. So first coat we just put over just our primed areas or just our uh, rub throughs as well and then second coat we'll put over the whole thing. Um, you can use quite low pressure, being that it's a solid colour. You know, you've got no metallic that you need to um, lay down really nicely. Um, probably have it about one and a half bar or uh, 25 psi. I'm using the HVLP GPI Pro, which is my my spray gun. I use use most of the time. Um, getting the gun nice and close. As you can see, there's basically not much overspray at all. Basically, all that paint is mainly hitting the panel. Might have a little bit, obviously I was going to get a little bit of overspray, but so it's mainly covered up now. I just like to put an extra coat on just to be sure. There's uh, sometimes you know you get the car out in the sun, might look look okay in the spray booth, but it might be transparent, you'll be able to see through to your prime patch when you get it outside. So, you really like to put just an extra coat on when you think it's covered, just like an extra eye on. So for this job, it's the two doors, the quarter panel, and we're also doing the rear bumper bar. So I ended up mixing up 350 mils of base coat, which that then gets thinned down to a two to one ratio. So I ended up leaving out the, the footage of the bumper bar for this job because um, it ended up that. I don't like to make the movies, the videos go for too long for starters, and also the footage actually didn't even turn out that well. To be honest, I usually put just one coat of clear coat um, onto the bumper bar. Well, I've ended up just finding a little bit of uh, fluff that had landed on the panel there, so I just ended up wiping it off with my finger at the same time as blowing it there. So you could use a tack rag, but I knew that it was not the base coat, each coat of base coat was dry before, so I was pretty happy I could wipe it off with my finger. So. Uh, on to our clear coat now. Um, I'm setting the same same spray gun, but I've got a, a clear, a separate gun, um, same setup, but a different uh, different actual gun. I've got a dedicated clear gun, so I have the uh, fluid wound wound out pretty far, and maybe about three to four turns is a good setting. Um, open the fan right up when you're using a HPLP on a panel like this, and set the pressure to two bar, you wouldn't want to set your pressure any lower than that because you'll never be able to get a nice finish with a high volume low pressure gun if your pressure's too low. Um, yeah, you'd be forgiven for thinking, oh high volume low pressure, you, you can get away with spraying 1.5 bar or you can get away with spraying 20 psi. Well, that's not the case because uh, the first part of the high volume low pressure is high volume. So it does get a lot of paint out, but 20, 20 psi is low pressure compared to the old guns. Um, so yeah, they're very quite efficient spray guns these. Um, 
even with the clear coat, you can see there's not much bounce back, not much overspray. Most of the paint's in the panel. So. Um, I've actually got some uh, links at the end of this video to the prep work on this car and also the primer work and also the masking work on this car as well. So I'll put a couple of links at the end for that. So you can click on them if you'd like to see the, the full job. But this, this video is just dedicated to the paint work. Now on with our second coat, in between coats, I ended up giving it about five minutes. I used a fast hardener on this job because it was starting to cool down where I am in the world. Um, I also put in 10% reducer because uh, when it starts cooling down the paint starts going a little bit thicker so you need that reducer in there to, to thin it out so it will be too thick and it won't come out your gun properly. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a video soon on how to use a DIN cup and for those of you who don't know what that is, it, it's a viscosity cup, um, a DIN 4 cup and you can look on the back of your paint labels and it will tell you exactly how thick you're meant to have your paint and it's meant to run through this cup with a 4mm hole in the bottom of it and it's got to go through there at a specific speed so you can either heat your clear up or you can thin it out to get the exact uh, correct in this or exact correct viscosity so job's just coming up to an end, end now we decided just to blend up this pillar here so I'm just putting a bit of blending blending thinners over the end which that can then be taken out into the depowling bay and we'll polish it up so here's a quick look at the car once it's all finished off pretty happy with the finish we got off it um, it's a nice uh, Mercedes Benz like finish Pretty clean, one or two little bits of dust in it, but that's uh, that's pretty standard. A couple of denims will be done out the back again, and I've got some footage of it once it's outside in the sun as well. You ought to have a look at how the colour came out, and you probably notice I put colour right up to the edge of that door. I've found if you use um, clear over base on whites and you only clear and you try to blend it, you'll end up with a big colour difference because the clear changes the colour on these whites, so you're better off just matching your colour. So here's a couple of links, how to prep and mask and how to prime. This is on the same car, so thanks again for watching and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.